Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do hear any noise, Luca is currently playing with his mat right beside me. Um, yeah, hopefully he gets bored of that. Um, anyways, please comment, like, and subscribe as always if you enjoyed this read. And also join membership if you like uh, my channel messages. I'm going to say right now going into this, um, this is going to be more of a channel message read. I'm just going to tell you guys what I was hearing because I was hearing a lot of things. One second. I also do this reading on Friday, so it has been a bit of a long time coming. Um, so we are going to mostly use my channel messages, all the stuff I've already had written down. That's why I have my laptop out here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through all of those and then also give you guys kind of like an overview of what this message is about. And yeah, we'll just get into things. And as always, if you guys want to, um, I do have a PayPal link in the description box uh, and Amazon wish list as well. If you guys ever want to donate to the channel, um, anything on YouTube is great too. I really appreciate everyone who decides to do that. That is awesome. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated. It means a lot to me. And I don't know what my cat is doing. I think he's opening. Oh no, he's opening pop. Sorry, don't ask. My cat is a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> he's good though. Okay, anyways, getting into this reading. So basically, this whole read, what I'm picking up on really strongly getting something about a family gathering with this card here. It even looks like that on the card. Something about um, eating together a big meal. This could have been around the holidays or it could have been more recently. I'm not really sure exactly when this took place, but it's really coming out strongly. So we'll get into the channel messages regarding this event. Um, and then also, yeah, we definitely have a message here about someone from your past who was, I'm so sorry. I don't know what the heck my cat is doing. Um, someone from your past who likely at some point, um, chose to leave a connection right away. They chose to get out of there. Um, they might have left in a hurry. They might have left you on red or just left you with a lot of questions. That's kind of what I'm getting in this read, but also I'm getting something about someone realizing they may have made a mistake in the past. So that's what we're getting here. I think we're picking up on a lot of past energy, to be honest, in this read. Um, so we're kind of picking up on what happened in the past. So we'll go through that. Um, Okay, anyway, so with this first card, what I've been getting is so much stuff about, like, a meal. It's really coming through clear. It was on Friday. Um, I was hearing something about gaily butter or cream, which also makes me think of, um, like, if you're out at, like, a breakfast spot even, and then you put, like, you know, the little creamers in your coffee or something like that. I don't know why that's the first thing that came to my mind, so that definitely could be the case since we have been picking up on a lot about a coffee date. This could be, um, I'm picking up, like this could be future or you guys could have won on a coffee day in the past. And I mean, like could be a spot you've been to before, something like that. I don't really know, but I keep getting that. Um, there's also something about a salad bar. I was hearing buffet, washroom attendant, something about Archie's, Archie's comic books. I think Archie's also is like a fish place, which is interesting because I have been picking up on stuff to do with fish, which is also funny because there's fish on the card. Um, fish also has to do with abundance as well, which is why it's on the Ten of Pentacles. Um, anyways, I'm hearing my full name is something about Kerrygold Butter. Um, I heard still better than nothing. Maybe someone only likes Kerrygold Butter and they only have like gaily butter or something. <laughs> I don't know. Someone's very particular about their diet and what they eat. Um, I'm also getting something about, I was hearing find me a fork, take one for the team. I don't know what that's about. I was hearing pep rally or pep talk, something about washing dishes. This keeps coming out. I'm getting like this vision of someone in the kitchen washing dishes. They're trying to get people to bring them their dishes or someone to help them. Um, there's definitely something about that. I know that seems insignificant, but for someone that could be a message. Um, I'm also hearing something about put your water bottle in the sink. I was hearing for Ferrera Jacks, Ferrera Jacks. I don't even know what that is. I was hearing Jacks like as in like the French. I think it's French spelling. Um, J-A-C-Q-U-E-S. So also something about fish cakes. I'm getting pushing your plate away. I'm full. I keep getting messages about that. Like someone's taking their plate over like, oh my God, I'm so full. Um, something about bedtime stories, booking a ticket to see you. It's been so long. I almost feel like this is a family gathering and someone is talking about another person to their family maybe. Like they're talking about thinking of going to visit you potentially or something like that. Like if you're not there at this event, I feel like this is someone's family event and they're talking about you. Like again, if this is not your own event. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm hearing booking a ticket to see you been so long. Something about Dateline I kept hearing. Something about a satellite dish. There's definitely something about TV going on. 
Um, the TV is on in the background or something. Okay, I was also hearing something about pregnant. Uh, someone in the family could be pregnant or there's an announcement about pregnancy in the family. Um, or this is someone talking about maybe like elder people asking someone like when they're going to have their child or something like that. Uh, or when they're going to get pregnant. Um, okay, I also heard probably going to bring a plate home in regards to food. I heard looking for my mom's plates, distance, relatives, cousins. Sorry, Luca is climbing all over me right now. Um, okay, I'm also hearing falling back into the same pattern, same beliefs. Uh, that's a song. Uh, I think it's... Is it Eminem, Rihanna? I don't know. Um, Love the Way You Lie? I don't know if that's the right song. Anyways, I'm also hearing something about night school, which I have heard previously as well. Someone could be taking like night classes or something. This again, could be anyone in someone's family. Like this could be a big family gathering or something or just some sort of event um, of some sort. Uh, okay, I'm also getting something about cottage life, seasons change, I hardly see you, this, again, it makes me think of family, like, someone saying, oh my god, I never see you anymore, like, someone could be visiting their family, and in past readings, guys, recently, I've been getting that someone was saying, I need to visit my family, it's been too long, like, I miss them, I met my parents or my cousins or something like that, so this could be what that is, someone could have decided to go back and visit, um, some sort of location, like, if they're not in the same area, your family someone's family could be far away somewhere okay i'm also hearing further away parents children monday morning practice someone could play a sport or something i also heard famous something about teacher or an author i heard carry your plate to the counter please put your dishes in the sink something about a father heard look for your sisters kissing missing you making up mother load up your plate so many things to choose from something about mackerel and salmon um what else here i'm also hearing welch's grapefruit juice something about grapefruit or grape juice um turkey taco something about mashed potatoes corn on the cob gravy cassava root something about soup specifically potato leek soup i don't know turnips tomatoes see this just feels like there's like a buffet or something even like someone is out somewhere where there's a lot of foods i'm really picking up on that strongly like this is definitely what this is about something related to a dinner with multiple people um it could be at someone's house or at a restaurant i really was getting both vibes i actually feel like it also could be like catering or something okay i'm i'm hearing yeah shellfish guava juice salty too salty something about seasoned bassinet um i heard i also did hear grandma's funeral as well so this is not just like a happy gathering it also could be you know like a celebration of life like someone's family member recently passed or some or maybe they're just celebrating a grandma's birthday i don't know um i also heard listening to music tropical rainforest cafe i think that's in toronto i don't know if they have other ones but i looked them up and they actually have catering and some of the foods that i've been mentioning are on their menu so maybe someone got catering from that restaurant's very specific message um or maybe someone just lives in a tropical area i also heard teacup something about a loose handle on the cupboard fridge or door so someone something about needing to fix the door handle on something um which is really weird because i went somewhere this weekend and they were like oh i'm really sorry like because they were just starting working on the house they were like we haven't put in doorknobs yet so there's no doorknobs on the door and so i feel like that could be a message for someone maybe their house is under construction maybe something broke i don't know very specific again um, I'm also hearing something about baking cookies for dessert, shortbread, or sugar cookies. This is why it makes me think it could have been, this could have been a past thing, like a Christmas or around that time, a family gathering, um, when someone could have talked to their family about you or something like that. I don't know. And this could have been you. I'm also hearing lower your voice. People are watching, running away from you, trying to see if someone is open to discussion, sending mail, something about, yeah, by the way, guys, sending mail is very significant. I keep getting that message. Someone wants to send something in the mail or they did around the holidays to you. Um, I'm hearing party, watch, family reunion, something about 12 days, kids running around. I kept getting messages about little kids at whatever this event is. So that might be a signifier for some of you. There was like children, nephews, nieces, maybe something like that there. Um, I heard talking about you, something about the television is on in the background, like I said. Um, talking about who someone is dating, sparked a conversation, nervous chatter, talking about what went wrong in the relationship, arguing over who gets the remote, stealing the remote from him. See, I feel like these are little kids like playing in the background or something. Um, 
yeah i heard coffee sounds good moving soon see i'm telling you there's gonna be a coffee day or i don't know that's somehow significant in someone's story something about a coffee date and you know what's crazy is my friend just told me she's going on a date and she went on a coffee date so yes i feel like it's a message for sure guys um okay what else i'm also hearing yeah like i said moving soon i do feel like if someone had a conversation with their family um this could have been again in the past someone could have talked about wanting to move somewhere like further away from them and they were like well we already never see you anyways like they're like you're really gonna move farther like there could have been some conflict about someone wanting to move for a job or wanting to move further away from their family maybe their family felt like they needed help you know like they were caring for someone uh, elderly or some children or something and that could be the case for some of you this again definitely could have been a past thing here or this could be recent but that's what i'm seeing there's something about the family maybe not agreeing totally with this person moving away or traveling somewhere they don't want him to leave um that's what i'm getting here okay i'm also hearing arguing over which spot to sit in slamming doors are you following me something about public public knowledge west end of the city i also heard gardner express which is also near toronto um i heard rushing orders so this means i mean it could have been at a restaurant because of rushing orders um i heard clamping up or cramping up don't settle for less sorry i gotta move my hand and luca's like laying on it <laughs> one second guys sorry um okay i also heard misunderstanding valuable item proposed so someone could have been talking about proposing to someone at this dinner whatever this is they could have been discussing the idea of it i also feel like someone could have had like a valuable item from a, an elderly family member like a ring or something that's like vintage or maybe they gave them something along those lines like i don't know i just get something like that if it's not that like someone here just likes vintage antique things is what i've been getting I really had some specific messages about jewelry the other day. They were very detailed. Um, it was a very specific kind of like piece of jewelry. I will have to see. I might talk about that in members, guys. So again, if you like channel messages like this, definitely join members. That's where I post all my detailed messages. Um, but yeah, I don't normally go this in detail in every video. So every general video, I should say. So, okay. Anyways, moving forward. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this message. We're going to move forward from this card eventually, I promise. I just want to make sure we get all the details out. So I'm also hearing something about drifting apart. So maybe someone also could have proposed someone in the past. They could have been together and then they could have even been engaged. And then someone like maybe decided to call off an engagement or something. Um, or they're talking about divorce. Maybe maybe someone is just talking to their family about their feeling right now, like how they're feeling. Um, the fact that maybe they want to move away. They don't know if they're, you know, happy where they are anymore. Maybe something like that. Um, that's also what I get. So I'm also hearing what are you doing next Friday or Tuesday? I kept hearing those someone saying it like what you doing? What you doing next Friday? What you doing next Tuesday? Um, I also heard can you fix me a plate? Taking too long to decide. See for yourself. Something about Monsters Inc. Um, again, this could be like children in the background watching something. I also heard family gathering in London. Showing you your new place. Something about a teapot or kettle burner on the stove. Um, definitely something about making tea. There's someone here likes tea. Um, I heard family members, something about a baby, running water, parking ticket across the charts. Yeah, parking tickets been significant lately. Um, across the charts, or I heard cross the charts, raving about the food, something about Elton John or Milton John. I think Milton John's like a poet, maybe. I don't know. I might not be right on that, but, um, someone could be into poetry. We have been getting that lately. I also heard calling you back to the table, something about a TV set, reaching for the remote. I heard, hey, can you not do that? Um, something about a future wife, friends with benefits, call your friends over, a picnic in the park. Um, this could be what something is planning, someone is planning, guys, because let me just show you up here. That has been coming through very significant lately. I definitely get that as what someone wants to do with someone else, a picnic in the park um i'm hearing something about a water balloon fight too again this could have been at a family thing this just makes me think of all the stuff you do at a family gathering um i heard doorknob is broken on the washroom can you <clears throat> sorry can you fix it uh looking at the screws in the door something about porta potties telephone booth so again i don't know this could have also been taking place in a park at some point i have no idea guys um i heard d7 i don't know what that means d7 i also heard went to your friend's school um, again, this could be like old friends catching up too. 
Um, I heard Sally Hansen, salon care. Are you dating anyone new? Lowering your standards, comfy couch in the middle of the living room, raining down. I heard the song, um, you make me a believer. Um, I also heard hard of hearing. Someone could be hard of hearing her cousins and sisters, kids missing your family back home, reminiscing Stevie wonder something about carving the wood, the chicken or the turkey. Um, again, so this could be around the holidays. I heard, can you pass the beans or peas? Something about potatoes, serviettes, sugar, something about rum, rum, raisin, raisins, raisin pudding. Um, I heard Callie Carver looking for your phone. I left it in the washer, maybe. Yeah, this is a weird message I kept getting that someone lost their phone somewhere and they were looking all around for it. Um, yeah, looking for your phone, left it in the washer, maybe. Covering your shirt with water, dripping wet, stand there, don't move. Look, your friends are here, cocky. Um, something about the parents are watching the kids running around in the backyard or outside. Um, I also heard, are you listening? Are you listening? That song keeps coming through. It's like, I listen, I listen. It's like, I want to dance in, under a Mexican sky. I don't know, something like that. That song keeps coming through. I also heard something about Cape Cod. I heard traveling to Muskoka. Something about coughing, ringing the doorbell. Coffee, kitchen, something about a thermos of warm milk for the for the cats or for the kids? I don't know what I heard. It was cats or kids. Um, I mean, kids seems to make more sense, but I don't know. I don't know. I also heard cleaning later. What a beautiful day. Service here is great. Something about the food is really good. Um, I heard there's, um, yeah, wherever this yard is, there could be like a tree with a swing set in the back um, or something like that. There's something about a swing and a tree. I keep getting that message too. Um, I heard, okay, don't run too fast. Stay with your sister, pointing to the fence, that direction, right door, celebrate, celebrating someone's mother. So again, it could be like a mother, grandmother, birthday party or something or anniversary. I don't, I don't know. Heard cards drawing, mail, something about a computer screen, turning it to face someone. Um, pictures on my phone. I'm hearing that song. Pictures on my phone, new names and numbers. I don't know. It's like, um, the good life song. Yeah. Um, also heard quit arguing with your sister. I didn't do it. Favorite swing. Look, it's still there. So this could be like, yeah, a place where someone grew up even that they're celebrating this. Um, something again about a water balloon fight, throwing something, going to the bathroom by the bushes, something about cost of food, weather turned out nice, more food, please. Yeah. And then something about salmon again. <laughs> So, okay, that's all the messages for this card. Again, family gathering, definitely getting that vibe where someone is talking to their family members about potentially like their current love life or something like that. But I also get with the chariot here, there's something about someone not wanting to like move away. Like I feel like they want to move away. Like they plan to like move somewhere or leave. But like, I don't know, maybe family members are against it or they don't fully agree with this person, what they want to do. Um, but I see them taking action like regardless of that. Okay. Um, someone also could have just traveled a distance to be with this family. Again, like I do feel like this, whoever these are, like these family members could be at a distance from you. Okay. I'm hearing for chariot. I'm hearing out of here, booking a ticket, something about New York frame of mind. I definitely get that someone traveled to New York for a job. There has to be someone here that's doing that because that's come through a lot. Someone here lives in New York. Um, but again, it could be anywhere guys. I'm also hearing careful what you wish for something about the timing tying up the horses, farm, this, so this could have been on a farm, there could have been horses somewhere around the area, um, I heard, have you ever been in love, something about coming to see you, November, um, that month seems to be significant, it's always coming out, I also heard personal belongings, something about a flight, uh, too many people here, I also feel like someone, they, they, like, love their family and everything, but they feel, like, very overwhelmed, someone sometimes gets overwhelmed in social gatherings, that's what I'm getting, like, they like to just, like, be on their own sometimes, um, when it gets too much, okay, I'm also hearing something about a favorite spot, driving away to the airport, um, movie script, moving away, I keep hearing cockadoodle do, so maybe there's a rooster somewhere, I don't know, or, I don't, I don't know what that's about, I also heard forms filled out, entryway. This definitely makes me think of traveling like by airport or something, by plane. Um, I heard doctor's note, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, super random. Hard traveling light, locked up your bike outside. Something about solving a mystery. Can you feel the love tonight? That song keeps coming through. 
Um, something also about a, a car, a vehicle, a train. Someone definitely took a train somewhere or a subway at some point. That has been coming through a lot. I feel like that makes sense for New York too. Um, I was hearing distance between us, something about moving across the country. Again, see, like someone wants to move away from where their family is, like further away. Um, something about carnations. Uh, I heard pulling your horse and buggy, <laughs> turning the corner around the bend. Something about plastic forks and knives that again could have to do with this event here. Um, I heard, do you want to meet me at the water fountain? This could be later down the line where someone asks you to meet uh, because I have been getting messages about a water fountain or a waterfall for a very long time as part of a potential reunion. Um, I also heard nervous, still finishing school, clearing out my stuff, finish with this, cleaning up, heading out. Yeah, someone could be helping clean up and then like they're just, they're leaving right away or something. Heard forgetting something, my cell phone, my cell phone pass, my boarding pass. Something about paying for your ride back to the hotel, leaving so soon. Okay, I'm also hearing gripping the sides of the truck, railings on the boat, something about car, people, carpool. Driving to your mother's house, turning the corner, writing down what you're supposed to say, something about folding chairs down in a car, um, forcing someone to be my girlfriend, I don't know what that's about. Heard give me your phone, you don't need it right now, taking it away, lost your chance. I don't know if that's like with children, like someone took the phone away from them, I don't know. Her kaleidoscope, pulling a wagon behind you or a trailer, like someone, if they're driving somewhere, I could see them like in a truck or something pulling like a trailer behind them. Um, okay, what else? I'm hearing, I'm forgetting something, my sweatshirt, something about all alone, different sides of the world, Folgers Coffee. Yeah, I feel like someone feels like they're going to be alone if this person leaves, I don't know. Heard, are my parents too loud for you? My parents are recording your first kiss, I don't know what that's about. I heard, still don't want to be a burden. Are you following me? Pictures on my phone, new names and numbers. I don't know. See, that keeps coming out, that message, the, um, the good life song. So I would definitely go listen to that. It's very interesting. I apologize, guys, if I keep stopping. <laughs> I have, like, hair that keeps so much cat hair. It keeps getting stuck to my face right now. Oh, it's terrible. Um, I'm also hearing, okay, for three of pentacles here, this is about, like, again, someone's, like, leaving some sort of family gathering. They're, like, gathering up the plates and stuff and, like, heading out, and I feel like someone's talking to them while they're getting ready to leave. Um, or collecting water bottles off the street, or maybe someone also likes, I keep getting the message, like, someone's eco-friendly, like, they like nature, like, maybe they go out and they collect recycling stuff, like, this could be one of you. I don't know. I keep getting that message, too. Something about collecting plates off the table, cleaning up, water glasses. Pretty sure this is enough together. I also was hearing all in this together once we know that we are. What else? <laughs> and then I also was getting the song from Greece too. That's like the the last song in Greece or one of the last ones. Or like, I think it talks about being together as well. I don't know. Anyways. Um, I was hearing cleaning up counter, counter space, lasting impression, looking for your phone. It's in the washroom. I'm wondering where it is on the counter, taking it, putting it in their pocket, took my phone, so many people in the kitchen, hard pass, collecting dishes, decorating flowers, paper plates, cups, styrofoam, giving someone the side eye, mentioning my new baby sister. I don't know. I also heard something about blood thinner, breaking the news, someone's pregnant. Um, what else? I hear pulling out your phone, taking pictures, too many people in the room, running out, sitting on the stairs, taking a breath. Yeah, see, someone, like, doesn't like social things, and then I'm hearing someone else or, like, comes out and is like, are you all right? And then this person says something like, yeah, I'm fine, it's just crowded in there, so do you want any food? Arguing with people, something about, again, plastic knives, forks, are people watching us sitting around a fire or fire pit? Table, glasses, reaching for their phone, turn it off writing down what you want to say, leaving next day early in the morning. And then I heard the songs like, I still hear your voice in my dreams. Because every time we touch, I get this feeling. Yeah. I also heard standing around, watching everyone else clean, do your job, put your fingers in the water, dipping your toes in the water, it's cold. Um, someone could live near a body of water or maybe a pool. I heard cursing, curse words. Where's the bottom at? Where's the bottle at? Still don't feel right. Reaching for the cupboards. Are you sure it's not in here? Left it somewhere outside. I'm picking I'm picking your ring out for you. I'm telling your friends. All your friends are wasted. That song. All my friends are wasted. Something about fixing a plate. Take your shirt off. Hot outside. Do more. Put your back into it. Walking the dog. Telling your family about your, your mother. Someone's pregnant. Once again, I'm hearing. Talking to your family members, brothers and sisters. 
people you don't want to talk to are there, renting out a cabin in the woods, talking about your writing program, something about a school diploma, studies overseas, sorry for creating drama. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it just goes on. Yeah. Um, okay. So, okay, we'll just move forward with that, I guess. Um, I'm hearing can't focus right now. Don't be too long. This is, by the way, clarifying this card now, the Knight of Swords. Um, I'm hearing creating space between us. Thought you, thought you were done traveling. Something about a Peloton bike. Newton John's, I heard Newton John's law of therm thermodynamics. I know that's not exactly how it's, um, the name of it or anything. I just, that's what I was hearing. Newton John's law of therm thermodynamics. I also heard arguing about where you're going. Are you following me? Pay your family their money. See, I feel like someone's supporting their family or their family just like doesn't want this person living far from them, but this person has like other goals and things that are outside of this place, I feel. Um, I heard pulling something about, sorry, uh, are you following me? Pay your family their money. Are you clear on this? Pulling your friends out of the water, risking it all. Something about Dorchester, confiscated telephone, personal belongings, something about TSA. What is TSA? Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm eating cat hair again. I heard, are you sure you want to begin like this? I said what I said, didn't think you'd actually do it. Careful, please don't run around with those. Causing drama, filming you right when you're about to leave, taking off now, turning directions, angry, look in your eyes, approaching you after the party. Something about Fenway Park. Didn't you forget something? Don't record me. What you gonna do about it? It's like someone's recording someone. They're like, oh my god, like, uh, can you stop recording me? And the other people are like, what do you want to do about it? Almost sounds childish, like little kids. Heard next time, something about cell phone ringing, probably your sister calling, wondering where you are. Can you forgive me missing you? Um, yeah, okay. And then, yeah, someone is taking... Okay, guys, I'm really getting, like, someone is had plans to take action um towards someone else that lives at a distance from them I really get that um yeah and they were talking to their family about it is what I feel okay so we'll kind of move forward I'm going to give you guys a full rundown I apologize I know there's just so many channel messages so essentially like right now what I've been getting is just this message about someone who maybe moved back towards their family for a while even or I don't know. I just see someone that left you in the past. This person left you or they, they separated from you somehow, but they didn't do it in the nicest way. Like, I feel like there was some sort of ghosting or something, but it was very sudden. And this person, the way they went about it too, I'm just seeing that this person regrets how they did things. Um, they definitely do at this point. Um, and as they were further away from you, like even living with some other people or something or at some sort of gather, I don't know. This was just like the time when maybe they realized more, but I just see that they were out, they were somewhere else, like they weren't with you. Um, and they could have been again in another connection, like a third party relationship. But I see that when they were at this distance from you um, for, a, for a period of time, their perspective of you changed a lot and what you wanted changed. Um, maybe in the past, uh, I definitely have been getting this message, but someone was not wanting to fully commit to you or they didn't want to move the connection forward they wanted to keep their options open i also see someone wanted to work on their career we'll go more into this later because i have new messages on this um but yeah someone was definitely just wanting to keep their dating options open first off i do see someone could have had someone from their past that even their family knew um like an ex or something and they plan to potentially go back to this person that's why they didn't want to fully commit to be completely honest that's what i'm getting um this could have been someone younger than you even as well. Like this person could have been younger and you could have been older. Um, yeah, talking about like the third party and you. Um, and then I see this person though, like, yeah. So they went, they went back to whoever this third party is or they went back to live with family or I don't know. They went back to something else that wasn't you and they really ghosted you and hurt you. And I just see that their whole perspective changed. When they went back to whatever this was, like things just weren't going well for them. And I feel like the distance from you, it really did change their mind about everything. And this person is, yeah, definitely seeing things in a new way. If they were like, they were definitely in a Knight of Wands energy before, like very just like flirty and just knew they just wanted like something easy and casual. Like they totally changed from that now. They realize that's not what they want. And I feel like that's also what this third party was giving them too. And they were just like not interested in that. And I feel like there's something about you from their past that they think about all the time. The fact that maybe you didn't accept that from them. Whereas this third party did. Like the third party just wanted to be in that energy with them. Sorry guys, I'm just losing my voice a bit. Um, So yeah, 
basically you didn't accept something their offer in the past maybe for a casual connection you were like well if you're not going to give me what i want i just see someone walking away like this ended and or they ended things and i don't know there's something though that this person respects about you from the past and they still think about and now i see that if they yeah if they didn't want a relationship in the past they want it now basically that's the gist of it they want something now um they always too i feel like thought that someday maybe you guys would come back together that's what i see this person also also what am I saying? I can't speak. <laughs> this person always hoped one day that maybe something might come back together with you, but they never really knew for sure. And then they were just dealing with, I swear, like someone was dealing with some sort of family situation or a third party that maybe their family even knew as well. And like, they liked the third party and they were like, oh, like, why don't you stay with her? Like something like that. Like, I don't know. They had something from their past they were dealing with, but now they realize like, this is not what they want. This is not the life they want to live. That's why they're they're leaving you behind. Like they don't want this life anymore. And they have some sort of apology for you. I definitely see an apology coming your way very soon. I'm getting that. Um, there's something in the past too where this person wasn't fully open about what they wanted. They didn't give you a really straight answer or they weren't fully honest about what they were dealing with or who they were dealing with. They had a third party. This person not, might not have been honest about the extent of it or the extent of something going on with their family and i see like all that's going to come out basically they're going to tell you about that um and it's going to be very shocking something's going to be very shocking um i also feel though in the past there's something shocking that you did um you walked away from this person potentially like you just it, for some of you like you just stepped out like you were just like all right um if you're not going to give me what i want then i'm i'm going to leave like it's something like that like i wish you all the best but i'm i can't like wait for you to decide or something along those lines and this person was really um taken aback by that like if that happened if you said something in the past like this person i just get that they keep replaying something in their mind over and over that you said or did and it's just like they were like wow i can't believe she did that like but they respect you for whatever this is and I also see this person went through a lot of healing to try and get over you. Like, it wasn't a super easy thing. And I feel like at first they thought they were fine without you, but eventually it really started to eat at them and it got worse over time. Their feelings for you, I feel like they grew over time. They weren't just, like, right away. It was something that definitely, like, distance makes the heart grow fonder. It was like that. That sort of thing. That's what happened. Um, and I'm seeing this person definitely fantasize a lot about you. They thought a lot about your past. They thought about the memories with you all the time dreamed about you even um something along those lines so that's what i'm seeing guys so i'm gonna go back to doing some of the channel messages here but i just want to give you guys a rundown of what's actually going on here and what i'm seeing um yeah someone wants something more with you though like they they want something um where you guys work together as a team they might even come in offering something like friendship first or working together on a project just to get in with you kind of but then they they definitely want something more than that is what i'm getting for a lot of you so okay i'm gonna move forward a little bit here um i don't even know where i was okay so we're on something we're on fantasy here i'm gonna clarify this card a little bit so i did hear pick her up by seven take her to the beach and walk her down the aisle um <laughs> so i really feel this person from your past guys like this person is like they flipped a switch like i'm just seeing someone recently flipped a switch of what they want and um they really want like marriage like someone wants a full-on commitment with you um and pick her up by seven i've been hearing that message non-stop like something about wanting to meet at seven o'clock 7 p.m i don't know something about picking someone up at seven and also walking down the beach this also makes me think of that as well the fact that we have the beach card here at the picnic i do get that someone could invite you to go somewhere near water like that's where you guys might meet up or you might go there after like again a coffee date or something i don't really know i've been getting coffee non-stop and then the beach thing has been more recent um but anyways i definitely be getting the picnic as well okay so i also heard got good, good genetics maybe someone thinks you have really good genetics <laughs> um there this person's thinking about children with you too by the way like straight up if like you're in that age range like this person's thought about that for sure um i'm also hearing something about arizona personal belongings something about waterfront or beach i heard hard knocks hard knocks maybe someone's knocking hard on your door <laughs> in the morning i don't really know i also heard knoxville tennessee though it could be either i heard lending a hand moving things someone and then i also heard moving truck as well um this person definitely was in the process of moving at some point i feel like they move locations or something like that or you did um 
or, or they want to give you a hand with moving something. I'm not sure. I also heard this song. I don't know what it is. It's by Christina Gr Perry, I think. Um, it's like, take my, it's like, take my hand, spin you around. It's like, won't let you fall down. Just let me lead, step on my feet. So I'm getting the message of someone like dancing together. Like your guys are dancing, like slow dancing to some song. This again could be future. Um, I'm hearing clearing out, listening to music. So you could be at like, I'm getting guys that someone is literally picturing your wedding. Like they're picturing you walking down the aisle. They're picturing the wedding floor clearing out. And then you guys just dancing to like one song. That's just what I'm getting very clearly. Like this is what someone's fantasizing about. Um, okay. I'm also hearing something about healing. I heard pretty neat, A. Eh? This is with this card here. Apologize. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this reading. <laughs> I know it's a lot of channel messages. Um, I heard coffee to go, please. Say you would, said you wouldn't leave. Took me for granted. See, yeah, someone, they, they feel like they took you for granted for sure. Or they feel embarrassed about their actions in the past. I really am getting that message very strong. Um, I heard... I, I keep hearing this message partially blind in one eye. Something about LASIK eye surgery. Um, I don't know. This could be someone here or someone's family member. I don't know. It's someone related. I also heard party favors. Something about triple X. I don't know what that's about. Size of someone's shirt or like, I don't know if that means something else. And then I heard cockle to do like right after that again. Um, something about rain pouring. I do get some message about you guys could meet up on a rainy day. I've been getting this for a long time. Um, I do see now more clearly something about an umbrella as well. So that could be significant. Rainy day, go to a coffee shop, something like that could be like the first time you guys meet up. I don't really know. I've just been coming through. Um, I also heard still focused on my healing, turning your head, stupid for feeling this way, tough love. Can you feel the love tonight? That song keeps coming out. Um, I heard purple jelly. I don't know what that's about. Heard roller coaster car, card of drawings. I don't know. Heard tell you what I said. Mental program. Jake Paul. Something about Anderson. I heard TP Fort. Hotel. Self evaluation. Deputy in charge. Soul cleansing. Selling your photos. I also heard calling all angels. Um, I really strongly get it. I don't know why. This person, they think of you like an angel. I just keep getting that. Like, they just really feel like you have this nice energy about you like there's something about you that they really feel is like special i just keep getting that something about angels and also calling you definitely i see like the first time this person reaches out it could be a phone call for sure um that's been coming through a lot lately um but then i feel like they want to meet in person like right after that like they'll ask you to go for coffee or something or like they come to your door like i keep getting messages about someone knocking on someone's door I don't know. And then also a letter, like handing you a letter, something they wrote, but they want to deliver it in person. So they want to like make sure you're available first or something. I don't know. Okay. I'm hearing place, pay close attention to this stock pictures, something about Glendale, California, learning to forgive something about a handkerchief and wet linen. Okay. And then in terms of this card shocking, which also looks like, again, someone walking down a beach, I heard a letter um and then i also keep hearing this song probably more than any song i've been hearing um it's like when you're gone pe pieces of my heart i'm missing too or something like that when you're gone the place i can't know is missing too yeah sorry saying that way wrong but it's by avril lavigne um definitely listen to that this person just felt like when you left like it just wasn't the same anymore i know it's so cliche but that's how they feel and that's how this person feels. And I feel like you could have shocked them when you left. Like, they didn't realize how much your absence would actually affect them in their life. I feel like that's that's what shocked this person a lot. Um, I'm also hearing something about wet pants. Um, yeah, by the way, guys, I am getting something about someone writing letters. Like, they wrote letters to you or they wrote poetry to you. And maybe they didn't send it. Maybe it was just for their own feelings. Like, you know, like catharsis something like that, but I do see someone actually, like, writing, handwriting something. I really definitely get that, whether that's, like, to actually give to you or to just do for themselves to feel better. Yeah. Okay, I'm also hearing something about a flash of lightning. I kept getting that message, so it could be storming again, like, a certain day that you guys meet up. I also heard Sorry for the Way I Acted, something about the name Joshua. Heard Harry Potter movie. First time I saw you, I was mesmerized by your eyes, taken aback. Let's just take this slow, one step at a time. Careful, don't be too forthcoming. 
I also heard the song lyrics again, Are You With Me? Um, and then I heard, Can You Forgive Me? I, um, something about Care About Me, Take Me Back, Letting Go of Someone, Purple Dress, Spur of the Moment, Missed Out, Keeping, uh, keeping You a Secret, Missing You, Feeling the Same, Different Values, Teaching Me Something, Too Many People in the Room. Yeah, someone could also want to tell you something at some point, but there'd be too many people around or something like that. I don't know. Um, I also heard parents are drying off by the water or pants are drying off by the water. I don't know. I keep getting like someone's at the beach or something at some point here. Or maybe it's raining. I heard leaving someone behind. Part of me is with you. Taking time off work to heal and recoup. Um, something about a pillow fort, a pillow fight, taking your shirt off meant all of that. I meant all of that. Can't you see? Close the door foam roller. Something about looking for you, looking for your face everywhere. I also heard let's just be friends hitting you hard. Maybe you said someone here could have said like, why don't we try just being friends? And like that hit the other person really hard if someone said that or if you tried to do that, like it just didn't work. Um, okay. I'm also hearing home run, stay home, fair shot, tried, don't regret anything. I don't belong here. That song I'm hearing. It's like, I don't belong here because I'm a creep. I'm a widow. What the hell am I doing here? Yeah, something like that. Um, I feel like this person just felt like they didn't belong where they were with their with these other people, whoever they were, or this third party, this third party's family even. They just felt like this wasn't the place they wanted to be. The place they wanted to be was with you, was back with you. They realized that. And the only time they realized that was when they had the perspective of being at a distance from you and not being with you, you know? That's when they realized what they really do want. So I'm also hearing something about last chance decision. Um, last chance has been coming through a lot lately. Someone feels like it's their last chance to do something. Um, something about a phone book as well. I, also, I don't even know if people still use phone books, but that's what I'm getting. Her clairvoyant, listening to your friends talk about you, masking more than you know or more than you think. Um, yeah, someone's masking their feelings for sure. I also heard keeping a secret, caught in a lie. Um, and then where is it? Uh, am I missing a card here? It might be. Oh, well, okay. Well, I also had to card out this like cloudy, cloudy judgment. It was right beside this one. It also looked like a storm on the card and it had a lightning bolt going down. So again, it could be storming on a day that you guys meet up or something. I've been getting that. Um, I heard, don't remember what I said, pacing around, writing things down. T I take it back. Pants, sweater, jeans. I don't know what that's about. Heard too many people in the room. Once again, Heard, are you for real? Long hair, sandals by the beach, pushing you to the ground, turned away, picking up where we left off. Are you free tonight? I effed up. That's what I heard. Um, yeah, someone really feels like they messed up. They really feel that way, like very strongly. Um, and in terms of this card, only you, I was hearing something about, ca I heard Cafe Central, coffee. Again, I swear, someone is meeting up for a coffee date. Like at some point, if you guys meet up for a coffee date, let me know, please um it's been coming through so much lately um i also heard the song where it's like closing time da, da. i almost feel like you guys stay at some sort of coffee shop or somewhere till it's closing time like you talk for a really long time when you guys meet up um i also heard the lyrics from the song for the first time as well so i would look that song up it's about again meeting someone from your past for the first time like it feels like you're meeting again for the first time which is why i feel like it's very significant um, and then I also heard the song, Only Love Can Hurt Like This. Um, I heard Let It Go. See, I feel like this person also feels like, you know, that that um, saying where it's like, if you love someone, let them go. And I feel like that's what they did with you and that's what you did with them. And they're like, you know, if it comes back, then it's meant to be. And I feel like this person's like, oh my God, it is meant to be because I can't stop thinking about this person. I, I have also been getting like, this person is like, okay, if it was just a crush or something, like I would have stopped thinking about them by now. But like, why can I not stop thinking about this person? It's something like that. Like they just realize that it's more than what they thought. Because um, to be honest, guys, yeah, I do see that this person in the past, like they, they really sexualized you for some of you like they really just liked your body and they couldn't really see a lot past that like they did like you for other reasons too and obviously that's what they realized down the line but at first like I feel like they were just so into you physically and like they just this person also definitely had a fear of being in a commitment they um definitely could have been hurt in the past or something happened in the past or they just assume all relationships end the same way but 
they don't feel that way anymore because there's something about, about you that like they realized or they just realize over time that you're really real. You're a really real person and like you wouldn't do that to them and like, yeah, something along those lines. Anyways, okay. Also, I'm so sorry my stomach keeps growling so loudly. Um, I also heard the song lyrics, all alone it was a fever, cold sweat, hot head and believer. Throw my hands in the air, said show me something. Said, if you dare come a little closer. Yeah, this person was scared of getting close with you too. Like that was a thing. Like they were just like, they don't want to let anyone get too close to them because they're scared of getting hurt. So cliche, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, That song. I also heard, yeah, in that song, it also says, I want you to stay. Like this person realizes now, like when you left, they, they really did want you there with them. They didn't want you to leave. Um. Yeah, they feel like they can't live without you. That's what I heard um something about being cold something about letters once again i heard forever supply store writing you letters penmanship ink someone also could have even been using like an old typewriter or something like they i don't know <laughs> something about the letters is like old-fashioned um obviously letters themselves i guess are kind of old-fashioned nowadays but um something about again the candle wax like sealing a letter or something just i don't know something like that Someone wants to be Mary. Mary? Why did I just say that? Um, someone wants to be very sentimental about it. Um, very romantic. I also heard fully invested, hands on, terrified to love. Can you forgive me? Public announcement tonight. Couldn't stop loving you. Park, park blankets. I heard park and blankets, which again, this makes me think of right here, guys. Like, I feel like you guys are going to meet up at some sort of park or something, or this is a future thing. You guys remember the messages about also being up high, like at a different view like above the water or something that could also be the case on a mountain i don't know um okay but yeah i heard two people in love keeping a secret all this time forgive me picking up where we left off dirty sandals by the beach talking about your family life telling you i made a mistake see i feel like someone's going to tell you about this like about this family something about the family or situation they were dealing with back home so i'm hearing um okay i also heard um can you forgive me yeah public announcement where are we at guys sorry looking up at the stars again i've been getting lots of messages about that in the night sky picking you up at seven so this definitely could be like 7 p.m at night heard last chat we had you said something i don't know i didn't get the full message there um you didn't want me to be your friend hold it hold out your hand alone at last cape cod nova scotia Something about Raven, Ravenport, Ravenport, or Dave, Davenport, her Toronto theater, people are watching us, purple dress, again, something about the color purple, I swear, her coming back, um, what else, I also heard losing your phone, tracking your phone, different number now, turning point, weather, are you listening, uh, looking for your phone, don't forget this, said you wouldn't leave, pissing you off, um, Oh my god, my stomach. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm also hearing the song, somebody called 911, shorty fire burning on the dance floor. So yeah, um, do you guys remember in the past I was talking about um, a fire at someone's house potentially? I definitely feel like that could have been the case in the past. Someone's, something about fire, it definitely went down. I'm also really odd because as I'm staring at this card, I just kept thinking about Hawaii and obviously if you guys know about the fires there. Um, that could be related. Unfortunately, it's a really awful thing going on. Um, okay, I also heard tossing and turning at night. Yeah, I've been getting lots of messages that someone has not been sleeping well. Um, that is coming through very strong. Someone has not been sleeping well because they're thinking about um, reaching out or saying something. Uh, yeah, I also heard keep the lights on. Are you falling for me? Keep the lights on. I don't know what that's about. I heard looking at your phone, turning off the TV. Are you for real? Something about army body. I heard army body. Uh, listening to music. What you doing? Yeah, someone talks like that. They say, what you doing? Like, what you doing? I don't know. Something about writing down song lyrics. Are you listening? I just kept hearing that. Okay, and then something about conflict here from the past as well. I was hearing, don't be so rough. Something about racy pics, reclusive. Don't record me. See, um, we did talk about someone could have had nudes of someone or something on their phone using as blackmail. This could have been an ex at some point. Um, yeah, I also heard tearing me apart, took my love and turned turned around, climbed the mountain, saw my reflection. That song, um, 
took my love and it took it down. Yeah, something about a mountain though, significant. Someone likes climbing mountains or that's something you do together. You'll hike somewhere. I don't know. I'm hearing careful drawbacks, letting you know I'm probably going to be taking time off, time for myself, um, forcing someone to be in a relationship, taking off, don't respect me, boundaries. Yeah, someone also did not respect your boundaries in the past or you set boundaries in the past, which is something that they respect about you. Um, so yeah, if you set some sort of boundary, this person definitely appreciates that now, like they understand it now, but in the past they may not have been fully respective of your boundaries or like, yeah, they just had different views of what they wanted basically. Um, okay. I'm also hearing, yeah, taking off, like someone just took off in the past. Like they just left you. Like they just, I don't know. They just wanted to live their life. They also felt like they were going to be held back again, in terms of career or something, and travel, they wanted to do more traveling, they felt like being in a relationship meant that they were going to be tied down, like, I don't know, this person was thinking in the past, but now they feel differently about this, for sure, um, okay, I also heard too many people washing tarnished my reputation, um, told you, yeah, also the person thinks that you think of them a certain way, and they're, that's why they're also very, like, anxious about that, like, they don't like that you still think of them like that, because they feel like they're, they're very different than their past, um, and they want to obviously prove that. I heard, told you I'm moving on, slip cover, something about Sunday night, slap in the face, early morning, short, showed your true colors, didn't want you to know. So this could have been when some sort of argument went on in the past, maybe. Oh my gosh, guys, I feel like I'm talking forever in this video. Okay, we're getting there though. Um, I heard missing you, marriage license, are you with me? Army knife, Swiss, Swiss army knife. Um, do you want to be my girlfriend? Think about scenic route, driving past, soap opera, dramatic, esoteric. Pray you haven't moved on. Yeah, this person, right after that, we have the message about tossing and turning late at night. This person definitely stays up late, like, wondering if you've moved on with someone else. Like, that is their biggest fear, is wondering if you're, like, with someone. Because they feel like if you end up with someone else, they're like, that's going to be, like, I'm going to be heartbroken. Like, I'm going to feel like I... I really messed it up in the past. Then I know, like, I really, I really screwed everything up. Like, I don't know. It's something like that. That's, like, the last straw for them, I feel. Um, okay, yeah, I heard picking up on your feelings as well. So someone could be even feeling what you're feeling, you know, like, telepathic connection here. Like, someone's dreaming about you. I heard reaching a verdict, lasting, early morning. Um, all the people I've dated before you were no comparison to the way you make me feel. Um, I also heard I said what I said, take it or leave it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's something about also he felt like he was going to be bored in this connection, this person. By the way, remember, switch it, he or she, but or whatever, you know. Um, but they felt like they were going to be bored in this connection with you. It was something about boredom. Like they felt like they needed to do more things with their life and to go out more places, see more people. And like, but they just realized later that like, it wasn't all that and it wasn't that exciting when they did it by themselves they're like i could have been doing it with this person like they realized that later like this person definitely like they they realized everything that they they did wrong in the past um i'm also hearing aviator glasses something about showing up unannounced tuesday today two 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 days i don't know heard can't believe you're back um do you want me to put away anything so this is why i feel like someone could be helping someone bring stuff inside or i don't know in the kitchen um, I also heard he wants a family, security, pouring my heart out to you. Again, something about sandals on the beach, picking you up, calling all angels. Again, that song, keeping you up at night as well. I feel like you guys could talk like late into the night as well, or I mean, other things, I don't know. I also heard only love can hurt like this. This also coming in the past. You guys could have had like a really long conversation during like some sort of breakup or something. Um, but anyways, okay, yeah, definitely getting a message about the beach, though, picnic on the beach, or picnic somewhere out in nature. I'm also hearing ascending, a little rain check, something about karma. Yeah, this person definitely realized um, that karma is a real thing, too. I'm getting a lot of messages about the fact that they went through their karma, guys. Like, they really went through it um, when they were away from you, whether they tell you all of it or not. Um... Okay, and then in terms of apology up here as well, um, I was hearing a little did you know how I'm breaking while you're sound asleep, that song. That song keeps coming through lately. I also heard closing out a chapter in your life, taking on new responsibilities. Um, something about, I'm so, yeah, apology for hurting you as well. Um, I also randomly heard pulling someone out of the water, rushing to the hospital, ER, can't feel my toes. I do feel like this could have happened around 
again, winter time, this is that message. Again, I'm sorry, I know this could be specific for certain people, but something about someone falling in the water, almost drowning or drowning, I don't know, guys. But yeah, I definitely get like someone went to the hospital at some point. Um, I also heard turf wars though, so this could have been a fight um, with an ex or family members or friends. Um, I heard something about tonsillitis or colitis, uh, which is interesting because we have been talking about like stomach issues. IBS, things like that. So maybe someone found out, you know, they were diagnosed with that recently. Um, I apologize if anyone is. I know it's not a fun thing to deal with. Um, I have a best friend that goes through it and I have had issues myself. So, you know, yeah. Anyways, continuing on, um, I also heard Fairview Park, something about Fairfax. And then uh, with the Four of Wands card here, I was hearing that song yet again. It's like, every time we touch, I get this feeling and every time we kiss, swear I could fly. Um, something about you, I was hearing running my fingers through your hair, pushing you back onto the bed, close your eyes, arms behind your back. I don't know. I also heard, got a feeling that I belong. I have a feeling that I could be someone, like the lyrics from Fast Car, that song. So yeah someone feels like again like they belong with you like they feel like they don't belong here there's something about they didn't feel right where they were but they feel like with you it just again that message it feels like home it feels like home and the four of wands signifies home so yeah that's what i'm getting from that and um i also heard lasting impression the look on your face said everything this i feel is that message i've been getting about a past conversation you guys had maybe someone's Thing about like someone's eyes welling up with tears or they they hurt you and they knew it and that image in their mind like they play back all the time so that's what i see but something you said or did like has a significant impression on this person like they don't forget whatever it is something like that um yeah i also said leave it i also said what am i saying guys i've been talking for too long i also heard leaving at 12 that could be another message anyways those are all the channel messages for this reading. I know this was super long. I hope you guys stuck around with it. Um, yeah, we're gonna go more into like this message later on because obviously I have new readings about this. Um, I'm gonna do one maybe tonight, we'll see. And then we'll definitely do some like channel messages and members tonight after this read. So if you like my channel messages or if you want more details about what's coming up, like more recent messages, then uh, definitely join. We'll post after this video likely um yeah it really helps my channel when you guys join it means a lot to me as always please comment like and subscribe as well um and if you ever want to donate once again i have an amazon wish list in the description box or a paypal link it really means a lot to me when you guys do that thank you so much for watching um yeah i hope you found this message helpful keep me posted and i will see you guys in the next one okay, bye